What do we got today? What do we got today? Well, there's a little bit happening in the Giro, isn't there? Jai Hindley up and about. Riders striking over stages that are a bit too long. That's a funny one, isn't it? Because normally I sit here and go, oh, riders need to get together, you know, be a common voice. That was a weird, like, there's that whole thing about pick your battles. I feel like that wasn't a battle to pick. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'll regret that comment. And in news of Chris, I tell you, I'm just not feeling it today. Whether it's, it's so humid. Listen to me sooking. I don't know, just, yeah, real sticky humidity. Just not feeling it. In my defense for the level of sookiness, I actually had a really good plan for the vlog today. Like, so what was gonna happen is all about Jesse and Leo were gonna come out. We're gonna do this whole, like, whoever does the most intervals above threshold gets a free coffee. There was gonna be banter and chat. And then the storm hit, Leo's on Zwift, and I, I don't know, I think Coil's sooking somewhere that... So you got me. You got me. This is gonna get ugly, kids. This is sauna humidity today. Sweat it out, kids. Yeah, so got, this is what, about a 1.8 meter, can you say climb? Stretch of road. That has a lot of things going for it. The first is just it's accessible. It's a really easy ride for, for me where I live and for a lot of people that live sort of in the metropolitan area. The other thing is it's gradient. It's super, super consistent. So whilst it's not long, it does let you actually work on an effort in a certain zone without sort of fluctuating too much which you don't want to do all the time, but you can kind of see where I'm going, that it does give you some consistency. Everyone's here, kids. Jesse's turned up. Angus Wilson's here, a chicken. I got nine done, plus this one, the vlog run. Content. So I was riding over and I was like, yeah, I'm going to ride a bit above threshold, it's a four minute climb, and people would be like, four minutes? You can't do a threshold effort in four minutes. That's all right, you just got to do more reps. Just got to do more so reps. Still counts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically all I was getting. But you can use like little tricks to slow yourself down. So I use the gravel bike. You know, that takes 30, 40 seconds off. Or you can put like, put your bar bag on your road bike, or if you're like a more of a beginner, it's perfect because you can't, you're going to struggle to hold threshold for 20 minutes at a time. It'll be really difficult. We're at Bar Cycle, by the way. Bar Cycle, which is in Walsh Bay, which is kind of just in the shadow of the bridge, which is just sticking its head up there. This cafe is the perfect distance from home. Because <laughs> if you stop on the, if, like, if, you, if we go in for coffee in Mossman, mm. then you're like, oh, I've got to ride the whole way back over all those hills. Because yeah. this is like 15 minutes from home. And it also contains some cycling bits and pieces. <laughs> uh, Does he yeah. know that's an S word? Yeah. <laughs> that's a Marita. It's all right. <laughs> How are you feeling, see the bee? I'm going to go up to the office for a bit, okay? Okay. Okay. Tad windy. Had a change come through, ladies and gentlemen. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Don't, 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 don't hate on Tigger. Don't hate on him. Everyone, every group, every team needs a Tigger. Now, speaking of not hating on stuff, yes. These are premium sunglasses. I already know <laughs> people are going to go, I don't need the... Yeah, you don't need them. You don't. So 
if you get your sunglasses wrong, it's, it sucks. And yeah, we're talking about three pretty premium sunglasses. We've got the Rafa Protein Frameless, we've got the Oakley Jawbreakers, and the Koo Spectros. It's my Italian accent. Obviously, the Rafa Frameless sunglasses are a more kind of boutique, minimalist frame design. These are so light, it's just crazy. So anytime you are dealing with something that is so light and so boutique, it feels less like rugged. I mean, that's just the nature of it, right? Now, I've been riding these for what, four months? I haven't had any rugged problems with them. The other end of the spectrum, Spectro, see what I did there? Are these, I mean, the, the, the Coos are a far more rugged design. I mean, even to the sense that you can see that when they flip out, you can hear that? The hinge actually like snaps into place. One of the things that I absolutely love about these sunglasses is the way they actually provide absolute full blockage of any light coming around the side. It's, it's really nice. It is a goggle type thing. However, whilst this doesn't wrap around to quite the same extent, what it does allow for is a little bit more airflow. I don't know about you, but I actually quite like a little bit more breathability sometimes around there. You don't want to feel like you're almost like locked in and secluded away with no air coming in. Obviously, that gets to a point, like you don't want so much air coming in then your eyes are being completely, it's the whole reason you're wearing sunglasses in the first place, that you're keeping the wind off your eyes. And yeah, the, the jawbreakers are certainly somewhere in between there. The lens certainly wraps that little bit further around before it comes into the frame. Again, it's a nice sort of halfway house. Two things that I think are an actual performance gain when it comes to cycling. The ability to see into the shadows on a bright day. Great example of that is somewhere like Bob and Head. It's completely covered in leaves. So, in that particular circumstance, the Oakley Jawbreaker Prism Trail lens wins most times. The reason I say most times is because on absolute bright days, these struggle. Because they enhance the shadows so much, what you tend to find is it's not a one lens for all conditions. But what about when they get wet? Which I do think is an actual performance gain that you can get from a pair of sunglasses. I don't know what they're doing with these because I've actually never experienced a sunglass to be as good at removing moisture as these. So some, we've had some great examples where I've been caught in a shower and my immediate reaction has always just been to sort of, you know, put them up here or put them around there. And the next thing you know, you put them back on and they're clean again, which is very strange. Now, these do a pretty good job. The only thing I do find is they tend to sort of keep a bit of moisture up around here that won't go away, but it does become a bit of a balance because what these do really well is in the wet conditions, obviously because you've got all this protection kind of all the way around your face and everything, your actual eyes aren't getting much moisture on them. Okay, we've talked about build quality, we've talked about frame, we've talked about lens, all the stuff that doesn't matter. We're just now gonna talk about the thing that does matter and that is of course whether it fits into your helmet or not. No, they actually all do fit into your helmet. No, we're gonna talk about, well, who should buy these, right? So who, who are these particular sunglasses for? Well, I think, so your style on the bike is it's probably quite monochrome. You uh, do like running sort of core products, you know, probably nice solid black bibs. You definitely have white shoes, black socks, maybe even a black bike. You're a soy latte, you're a soy latte. You're probably more of a crit rider, I'd suggest. You may have a tattoo, you may have a tattoo. You buy a new season of an internet Lycra brand pretty regularly. And you'll only keep these for about eight months until the new brand comes out with some sort of like funky styled sunglass. 
for you. Jawbreakers, you've probably owned them for 20 years. You'll probably keep buying them for 20 years. Uh, you may replace a lens every now and again, and you're a weapon on the bike. <laughs> That's probably you there. Okay, here's, here's a little extra, extra tidbit, okay? These and these, these lenses, okay, give you a great tan. Like you put them on and you're like, your freckles disappear and you get like this nice golden glow. Do you know what I mean? Like, but these, these you're like, whoa, God. Because they're obviously like reducing so much UV light that like you just see how ugly you are. So you're kind of looking down going, oh dear, that's not great. Well, I mean, that's pretty standard, but it is nice to kind of live in a pretend universe for every now and again. Okay, now seriously, my summary would probably be that the frameless ride a lot in hot weather, bright conditions, almost the opposite. Like I'd suggest sort of maybe badder weather, colder weather, really appreciate that kind of enclosed feeling. And yeah, look, so many options, so many accessories. You can't go wrong. You know you're gonna get a replacement every day of the week. That was cool. I think I covered everything. I should add all three come with a large nose feature for anyone of that ilk. Ooh. God? God is, well, God's a woman, we knew that. Oh, that was it. I think God was informing us that the seal show is about to begin. <laughs>